2011, so I've been you know, I started my career about a year ago. I'm a general dentist, and I'm also a clinical professor at USC College of Dentistry. Um, uh, my profession association is you know, mostly related to dental um, and medical uh, groups, so I'm a member of the American Dental Association, uh, the Illinois Academy of General Dentistry, the Chicago Dental Society, and the Egyptian American Medical Society. Um, one of the things that I also have been talking to the uh, Egyptian American Medical Society about is uh, to add to their uh, medical missions to each of the dental part to it, so, you know, who's still in the works of doing that. Another thing also that um, I, I did in the past and I, I plan on doing this year is to be uh, participating in the uh, Mission of Mercy. It's organized by the Illinois State Dental Society. What it is is that, you know, they call for volunteers to, uh, you know, dentists and uh, nationalists and assistants and staff and everybody to, uh, you know, uh, provide a few services to those that, you know, are, uh, that don't have insurance or underinsured. Um, this year's been happening in Grace Lake, and we provide, you know, a um, million dollar worth of, of services to uh, the underserved community. So, uh, you know, I thought that was, you know, uh, a great way for me to kind of give back to the community and to, you know, uh, help make a difference. I always want to, you know, use my skills and my qualifications and my background into making a difference in some people's life. Uh, my uh, nonprofit experience and you know um, activities uh, in some of the organizations. I was the, the founder of the first Middle Eastern Dental Student Association at UIC. It started in 2009 and uh, it's been going on now. They're, they've grown a lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's probably one of the largest uh, groups in, uh, at, at UIC at this point. Um, I was also a member of the American Association of Public Health Dentistry. Um, we we uh, established the first ever. A student run clinic for the homeless um, here in Illinois. It was the first actually nationwide. And then, you know, a lot of the schools around the states are taking the example and, uh, you know, establishing such clinics again. Um, and, you know, and it was, uh, was very, very successful. Uh, this clinic now, uh, you know, it, it grew to be like a full time clinic, so it's not like a weekend clinic anymore. And it also draws a lot of volunteers from around the, um, you know, the, uh, the country. Uh, the other thing is that I was, you know, got the honor to be a board member, a co-founder of uh, Egyptians About for Development ever since its start uh, in uh, last year, beginning of last year, right after the revolution. And I worked with the great crew. I, I uh, you know, grew a lot, you know, like uh, with all my skills and all my qualifications. I just put all of that into energy and, and you know, got it going. I thought that, you know, with, with EAT, you know, it was just, a dream come true. I wanted something, uh, you know, a channel by which I can, you know, give back to Egypt and, and, and make a difference. While we're here, we feel like, you know, we're, we just, you know, handcuffed. We don't, we can't do a lot of things to Egypt. But, you know, with that, I, I felt like, you know, this organization can be um, a, the channel by which I can uh, contribute. So I served as a vice president uh, since June of 2011. Um, when we went over, you know, the, the restructure of the organization, I became a secretary general. So one of the things that I have contributed to is, um, you know, um, with uh, a lot of people's input, we uh, had a strategic plan, and we got a little bit more organized with the organization. We had a unified vision and mission, and we started working on it. Uh, a lot of other things that I also have uh, done uh, with the help with uh, the, the rest of the board members, uh, with uh, a standardization of the reporting system and a facility with the communication between the board members and the board members with the, with the other uh, general assembly members. Um, other things that I've done is participated with the Slaman Darlene at the NEDMA conference that took place in March in Boston. Uh, what we've done, we've uh, you know, presented the uh, education project there. And uh, one of the things that I, you know, I felt like I could contribute to is uh, the outreach. I was able to represent EAT to a lot of other organizations uh, that participated in that uh, conference. And um, we really wanted to uh, create the bridges between uh, EAT locally and a lot of other organizations across the nation. My vision for the organization, again, I don't want to be repetitive, but we all realized that we want to strengthen the community here in Chicago or in Illinois in, in particular, and also to you know uh, to grow the organization nationally by 
uh, reaching out to other um, organizations, um, whether it's here in the States or in Egypt, because I believe that, you know, we facilitate a lot of the work that we'll be uh, doing in the upcoming two years. Um, also, you know, uh, we don't want it to, uh, you know, drift away from the focus of the organization and its role in the development of Egypt. And one of the things that we have identified in the past year is that we want to focus on three pillars, the education, the economy, and healthcare. I have special interest in education and healthcare. Being, you know, born and raised in Egypt, I went through all, you know, the educational system, um, uh, and, and, and I know a lot of these fallacies in Egypt. I also, you know, went to college here, so I know how different it is, what the, the difference in experiences between Egypt and here, and I also am a teacher here, so I know how the, you know, the educational system is implemented here in the States. So, um, and, and besides, you know, my medical background, uh, I have a special interest in healthcare and its improvements in, uh, um, in Egypt. I have actually drafted, uh, you know, uh, the healthcare committee goals and uh, I'd be happy to share that with you at some point uh, to get a license for that from here. Uh, specific uh, vision for the position as a Secretary General, uh, three things that I want to focus on and, you know, and, and, and improve um, the communication, uh, growing the membership and the administration reporting system. With the communication, um, you know, in, internal and external, I plan to improve it internal between the board members and the General Assembly, external with the, you know, similar organizations in Egypt, in Egypt and the U.S. And one of the other things that I have done in the past is doing a monthly report that I'm sure a lot of you are getting. Um, you know, it's kind of like a plain document, you know, and, and it's a little bit difficult to read uh, for, for some people, you know, just a plain uh, Word document. So what I'm planning to do is to develop that into more of a newsletter with the help of other members in the, on the board. Um, another thing is with the membership, uh, I'm sure you know a lot of people have mentioned that you want to reach out to other, you know, to more people to recruit more members, whether it is by, you know, social media or by, you know, word of mouth and, and, and traveling and, and establishing the connections and whatnot. So um, what I want to do is to collect all the members and, you know, find out about their qualifications and their, uh, uh, you know, uh, background and establish kind of a link between their background and how that can fit in our organization and how can we make use of it uh, so that, you know, everyone can contribute to their area and excel into it and that, you know, benefits the organization on one level and our field of country on a different level. Um, in terms of the administration and reporting system, I wanted to, uh, you know, enhance the administration system so that I can guarantee the sustainability of records so that when we transfer that to the next group, it, you know, uh, they will have all the records that they can go by and can go back to the history. And, um, you know, I also want to make sure that from the legal standpoint, everything is documented and in place. Why I want to run for a board position? Um, it's something that have, I have started. I've been, you know, an active part of this organization since the get-go. And uh, I feel like, uh, you know, my personal skin, you know, sustain the organization further. Um, when I started and, and initially, I just wanted to continue to grow. I became very attached to it. It became part of my daily life every day. Um, you know, and it's just, you know, uh, I mention it now to, to every person that I run into. So um, even though it's just, you know, I feel, felt like, you know, with a lot of work last year, I felt like that was nothing. There's a lot more to do for it. And, you know, uh, I have the passion to uh, give it more to the organization. Um, it's definitely fun to work with all the eight members. Um, I, you know, I, uh, I had some, you know, amazing times working with the board and working with all the members. Uh, we became very close and uh, we grew a lot of relationships together. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I definitely want that to uh, just continue happening. Um, I do have the dedication to put more effort uh, into growing the organization. Uh, what I said last year is that, you know, teamwork is the is the key uh, element that is going to make this organization sustain and I continue to say that this year again um, you know your qualifications and, and your background you can earn that it's kind of acquired but you know dedication is kind of innate and that's something that is provided to me and I think it can enhance it more so do simple <laughs> vote for me uh, thank you for listening and I uh, hope to see you guys next year